William Wagner is considered today a gentleman scientist. He was a Philadelphian who got interested in natural science when he was a young boy. He started offering free classes to the public in the 1850s. He had a little house where he started to give lectures and invite people to see his collections. That was so popular that in 1855, William Wagner launched the Wagner Free Institute of Science. It started as science classes, open to anybody, men and women, held in the evening so working people could come, and from the beginning, free to anybody. In 1865, William Wagner opened the Wagner Free Institute of Science in the building that we're in today. And we've been operating out of this building ever since we opened right after the Civil War ended. Today we see the Wagner as a time capsule of Victorian science because the displays haven't changed since the very end of the 19th century. So when you walk around here, the cases, the cabinets, the specimens in them, even many of the labels date to the 1890s. There's only a handful of museums in the world that are as unchanged as this one. You are stepping back 100 years. It is like going back in time. As a teacher, it's always better to show them better than I can tell them. Sometimes teacher talk is boring, so the fact that the kids actually get to see this in its original state instead of hearing me explain it, it is more impressive and exciting to them. It's not a boring science lesson anymore. Even though we are also a time capsule, we're still committed to teaching contemporary science. A very large percentage of our visitors are students coming for lessons, and those ages range all the way from preschool to graduate school. He collected all these natural objects, and then he would trade for them. We also do a, an array of children's programs, field trip visits, science lessons, hands-on activities for all ages. But we also have an expanding audience of people who just come to visit the museum because they hear about how cool it is and they want to explore it. The Wagner is not an intentional secret, but a bit of a secret. Some of that is because of where we're located. We're not near the main museum section along the parkway, but we are getting a higher profile and we do have more and more people coming to visit us. I think it's important that kids recognize that if it's old, it doesn't mean it's not useful. And I hope that in the future, um, the program can expand to more kids because I think it's such an asset and offers so much in terms of science and history that I think more kids need to be exposed to that. It has a lot of good stuff, actually. You know how people are always saying certain things must change. This stuff is very cool the way it is, and I want this stuff to change. Kids come here saying they rather play on their PlayStation or Xbox. When they leave, they're like, Mom, when can we come back? When are we going to come back? <laughs>